I want to show you how to calculate portfolio variance in Excel using matrices. Now, if you have a portfolio of securities, you can use this long-handed formula here. So here I have three securities in the portfolio, and it's not too bad, the equation, the weight in the first security squared times the variance of the first security plus the weight in the second security squared times the variance of the second security, etc. And then you have these covariance terms, two times the weight in the first times the weight in the second times the covariance between the first and the second. And then you have it between the first and the third and the second and the third. Now, this is sort of okay if you have two securities or maybe even three securities. But as you add securities, you get a lot more covariance terms. If we add a fourth security, you'll have one more variance term but you're going to have three more covariance terms between the first and the fourth, between the second and the fourth, and between the third and the fourth. Now you're getting a lot of terms in here in a four security portfolio, not a particularly large portfolio. So a more efficient way may be to use matrix algebra. And the formula here is that if you have a column vector of weights, uh, where W1 is the weight in the first security, W2 in the second, etc., and a variance covariance matrix where along the diagonal you have variance terms and on the off diagonal items, you, terms, you have um, the covariances between the first and the second, and the first and the third, and the second and the third. So here I have a variance covariance matrix which I've created. And it comes from data that I actually have right next to here. I have some, some stock return data for uh, Amazon, Google, and Tesla. I got it from Yahoo Finance. I got the prices, and then I computed the returns. So here I'm going to set up this portfolio here. And this is the variance covariance matrix. And these are the weights, 30% in Amazon, 25% in Google. 45% in Tesla. And you see along the diagonal we have the variance terms and the off diagonal terms we have the covariance terms. And the covariance between Amazon and Google is the same as the, the covariance between Google and Amazon. So they should be symmetric here. This one equals this one, this one equals this one. So here I've put in the long-handed formula. And let's see if we can um, take a look here. So let's see if we show formulas. You can see there's this formula here. It doesn't actually show the whole formula, but the whole formula is in fact here. And I don't want to stretch it out. It becomes kind of kind of messy. So let me go back to what we had before. But in here I put in the weight in the first stock squared times the variance of the first stock, etc. I used this formula. Let's see if we can do it with matrix multiplication. So here, the function is called m multiply, and you're actually multiplying three matrices together. You're multiplying W transpose times the variance covariance matrix, and then times W. So here you need to put in another m multiply. And if we want to treat this as the column vector, we could actually just use this so we don't have to use the transpose function. But let me do it this way. Um, if you have a column vector, you have to transpose this so it looks like this. And there's a function called transpose. And I'm going to tell it to transpose this and multiply it by this variance covariance matrix and then I'm going to multiply it by this and I've done if I've done this correctly I should get the same answer I had before and in fact I do I just don't have the same number of uh, decimal places here so if I add a decimal place and I just change this here Anyhow, they, they don't line up quite right for some reason, but it's actually the same number. So 
If you know and understand matrix multiplication, it's much more efficient to calculate portfolio variance, um, especially for a larger portfolio, using matrix algebra in Excel.